earlier today an event event started on a9 drive syndicate law mayhem it's got three tries of past drive syndicate cars the center day se the lvn the gamera the cc850 and the devil 16. i hate drive syndicate i think it's the worst part of asphalt 9. it's a pay-to-play event you're buying the cars and you're being you're paying to bore yourself with the grind like in in asphalt 8 I used to say with my brother, like you pay to play less. In this game, you seem to pay to do a grind, and that's just completely illogical in my mind. I was amazed people actually paid like up to five thousand dollars to unlock that car on the first year, and I thought they'd never run Drive Syndicate again, but yet they do it every year. It was so badly received, and yet they just create this hype before it, fake hype and somehow get some people excited. I don't know why you get excited, why anyone would get excited by Drive Syndicate. It's like, oh yeah, they're giving me the opportunity to waste money. But how is that exciting? I'm gonna drift for ages because this bend just didn't seem to work. I've already done it once in the LPN. I went another way. And it felt like the wrong way. I don't really know the Norway track. That's fun 12 times. <laughs> that definitely spun 12 times. Was it within the time limit needed? And when the car vanishes, it doesn't actually count as a wreck. Let's take the Sento DSC out. There's packs in the store. There's cash packs in the store to buy blueprints, I think, and, to and decals for these cars. But there's no token opportunity to buy packs. We'll do the CC850. I've clearly painted that car. Is that my paint job or the standard paint job? I don't know. It looks like one of my paint jobs. I'm going to take the route I took the first time. So it felt a lot safer. I hate that sound reversing because it gives me PTSD. I spent so long, keep spinning, yeah. I spent so long listening to that sound in Shepherd's Bush, it drives me nuts. The most horrible sound in the world. Why well, put it in the game? It's just torturing me. The words drive syndicate give me fear. And then that sound of that reversing cycle, reversing cracks, and just makes me want to shut the game down. I prefer the foghorn at the end and the reversing cracks than at the beginning. And these cars, like, they're useful if you just want to win every multiplayer race and you don't mind refueling cars a lot. But the S-Class cars, don't, well, there's another factor. I've sort of, I've made a video in the past about why S-Class cars aren't as good as they should be. When the game was released in multiplayer, when you got to Legend League and you were racing S-Class cars, the, the, la the races were two laps long. And that enabled S-Class cars to get much further ahead than A-Class. But on a one lap race, A class cars can often beat S class cars. And so they're not as valuable as they should be because the game sort of changed design after, after peer pressure from people moaning that the races were too long and boring.
that sound, it really hurts, sorry. I'm gonna go over this ramp. It feels safer in this tunnel, as long as I don't hit those blades. And thanks to the guy that told me you spin to break them. I, I didn't do anything to deserve that. The car just vanished. But still no wreck. But somehow, oh, I didn't beat the time because the car, I've got to do that one again. Or was it the Santo Deusi? And I've got to bloody get tickets. Right, we got some more tickets. Let's try and get around this without crashing in the Santo Deusi. I don't know if I did 12 360s. Felt like you needed to, that's a lot of 360s to get in and still keep control of that car. Cool, okay. Next car, the Gamera. I'm so hot. It's been so hot in Cyprus today. Can't even say what the temperature is, I'm not sure. It's probably not over 40 in the shade, but it definitely feels over 40 when you're sat in the sun. I have collected blueprints for these cars without spending cash to do so. I don't know that I've got any for the Devil 16. All these key cars though. I don't remember this car. I must have been paying very little attention during that drive syndicate. It looks very big. It's 
got a nice drift point. Whoa, sorry, I couldn't tell where I was going to be then. That slowed me down a lot. I think that's enough 360s. Yeah, I think I was clear. I'm not a fan of Drive Syndicate, but it's nice that they're giving us a few free blueprints for these past Drive Syndicate cars. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.